Hello everyone, welcome back to Study Zone. In the previous video, we have stopped till the example of proof by contradiction, right? So today we are going to see the example of proof by contradiction and then we are going to see the proof by cases, okay? So let's go through the example of proof by contradiction. So in the proof by contradiction example, we have proof if n is an integer and 3n plus 2 is even, then n is even. So in proof by contradiction, what we are taking? We are taking one term and negation of another term, right? So here, look here. Here it is in the form of if and then, then, right? If, then, it is in the form of if, then. So we have to assume. So let's take this as p, okay? And that is q. So we have to assume p. P is true and then we have to assume negation Q okay which means we have to prove it by taking contradiction okay we have to take this as negation Q so what is P P is if n is an integer and 3n plus 2 is even so we have to take this one as as it is so assume 3n plus 2 is even this one okay we are assuming same thing where n belongs to z and n is odd here we are taking negation q okay that is n is odd since 3n plus 2 is even then 3n is even is it correct yes right if we add anything with 3n it will be even so we have 3n as even so how by subtracting this 3n plus 2 with 2 like this okay 3n plus 2 minus 2 will be equals to 3n so this will be even okay then 3n minus n be odd okay because we have n as odd here by taking negation q right so 3n plus n is odd by subtraction of even and odd integer. So if we subtract with even integer odd or odd integer then it will be odd only by the this one okay. However 3n minus n will be what? It will be 2n right. What is the definition of even integer? The definition of even integer is 2n. So this is the contradiction because we have taken negation q as odd look here here where is this yeah here we have n is odd but by our proof we have n as even hence the proof is it clear okay i hope you understand the example of proof by contradiction so let's move on to the next proof that is proof by cases okay so in proof by cases the main thing is we have to prove all the cases right so we must prove cover or prove all the cases that is case one is n less than or equals to minus one and case two is n equals to zero and case 3 is n greater than or equals to 1. We have to cover all these cases and then we have to prove the theorem. Okay. So let's go through the examples one by one. Okay. Let's go through the example of proof by cases. So the first example is like this. If m plus n and n plus p are even. So we have to come to know by the definition right 2n. 2n. Let's assume it like this. Okay. When m and p belongs to z then m plus p is even we have to prove here here m plus n is even n plus p is even we have to prove m plus p is even okay so for this proof let us take m plus n as 2k and then n plus p as 2j we have to prove m plus p right so m plus p will be m plus n plus here it is p plus n okay so what is m plus n m plus n will be 2k and n plus p will be 2j so we have 2k and 2j here so i am taking 2 common outside okay so it will be 2 into k plus j so we can replace k plus j with r right so it will be 2r hence 2r is the definition of even integers right so 2r is the definition of even integer hence m plus p is even this is the proof for first one very easy proof right so we have second one that is if x comma y belongs to r then max of x comma y plus min of x comma y equals to x plus y okay 
so here look here we are taking two cases here okay that is x greater than or equals to y s le x less than y so in the case of x greater than or equals to y let's take this is 2 this is 1 okay 2 greater than or equals to 1 correct right so what is mean of x comma y value of x is 2 value of y is 1 which is minimum y is minimum max of x comma y which is maximum x is maximum so it will be in the form of x plus y so one thing has been proved and in other thing we have x less than y so let's take this one as 1 this one as 2 1 2 1 2 so what is minimum of 1 comma 2 that is x comma y x is the minimum what is the maximum of x comma y y is the maximum so here also x plus y by two cases the statement has been proved this is the four cases that we have discussed in the previous video and today's video so go through this go through the previous video and today's video if you have any doubt please ask in the comment section thank you